broke. But uh, he checked into the hospital and because uh, he was tired and exhausted. So he checked in and a reporter called my mother at the house to tell her that, that Dr. King had, they were trying to speak to him, um, but uh, told, her, told her that he had been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And she was really elated. And she called him and he was a little groggy, a little, uh, and she said, um, well, good morning, uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner. And it was like, wow, really? <laughs> uh, so that was one of a, you know, a, a mountaintop experience uh, for him. He was very humbling, actually. Um, he knew that there was a lot of responsibility now on his shoulder as a result of that. Um, and I think another, mountaintop experience was at the end of the Montgomery bus boycott, near the end. They were in court and um, they were getting ready, they were in court because they were getting ready um, to try to stop the, um, uh, the taxi, the transportation service. They said it was illegal and daddy knew that if the, the transportation service had stopped, then it would it would mess up the rest of the movement because how would people get around? Because they had structured this thing and figured out a way around the bus system. And while they were sitting in court, the ruling came down from the Supreme Court that said bus segregation was unconstitutional. And it was like a, a moment of elation because after all they had been through, and he was very concerned that they had reached a moment that maybe they wouldn't be able to figure out what to do next. And it was like, just in time, God stepped in. <laughs> so, and 